our fourth example called YouTube video. So although this fourth example is the most basic and easiest one, you can learn about the basic and core of Isaac Sim simulation. So let's get it started. Click this Isaac examples and from load balance EDU, click this example one hello world and next click this load button. You can watch small blue tiny cube and little yeah checkerboard shaped floors and if you click this play button the tiny little cube will fall down but please check your terminal something data is processing now those are positions and velocity values of this blue cube so i will show you how to access to the objects property through this python code now let's dive into the code. The folder name of this first example is hello world folder. Those are three Python codes. First one is init.py, extension.py, hello world.py. This init.py is just for kind of template code for importing other class and extension.py. And this Python code is template code for Isaac example. And the actual code is this one. Hello world apply the code. So in our main code, the hello world apply, they have a class. And this hello world class is inherited from base sample class. So what is a base sample class? Base sample is already provided basic structures. So all we need to do is just implementing, in other words, overloading is basic samples class methods. For example, to build your own scene, you can override the setup under the scene method. This is where you'll find the code that spawns the blue cube we saw before. So let me briefly explain about those code lines. First one, word. Word represents Isaac Sims environment itself. The thing is, this distance is singleton singleton means all variables made by this self that get word let me say that let me let's imagine that i made this word one or word two or four five six seven eight although i made eight words all those those variables is pointing is exactly the same value just one word this is what singleton means next and the fourth ground plane. This is the code for adding this yeah, checkable shape blue floor. And next, with our word variables, we can add and spawn some objects using word.scene.add function. In this case, we are adding this dynamic cuboid. Dynamic cuboid is actually yeah, this kind of basic example that NVIDIA already provides. Now let's move on to the next class method, which is setup post load. After spawning the objects into the environment, you can attach controllers for robot or change our object's specific properties, or we can attach callback function. The callback function is kind of function that learns every time when a simulation is processed. Can you catch up the difference between this setup scene and setup post load function? You can see this kind of async S -I -S -A -S -Y and C keyword is attached in front of this setup post load, which means the setup post load is asynchronous method. So if you want to add your own logics or external third party software like loss, I highly recommend to define them in here because the setup post loads function is asynchronous function. So let's dive into this setup post load method. You can also find this get word function. To keep that in mind that this all word is pointing the exact same value 
So word in here and word in here exactly the same thing because this is this is a singleton. And next, you can acquire specific objects handler through word in that get object function. And the parameter for this get object function is object's name. Be careful that this name is not just kind of random stuff, but uh, like this. When you're firstly spawning the the objects, you have to give specific name for that objects. In our case, it was a fancy underbar cube. So therefore, we have to transfer this fancy underbar cube as a parameter for our get underbar object function. So now we have a handler for a cube. And next thing is attaching the callback function. This can be done by this function add Felix callback. The first parameter for this method is sim step, and second parameter is actual function callback function name, print cube information. This method attach callback function to our simulation. So in short, in our case, print cube information function would execute every single simulation steps update. So this, is, this example is just simple falling cube demo, but imagine you are making robotics manipulator or mobile robot. This curve function might be the robot controller or robot odometry or some kind of deep learning logics. It can be anything. And how can you get this position orientation linear velocity? So do you remember that we already get a handler for this cube? Yes, we already have that save on the cube. Through this get word post and get linear velocity, we can acquire the object's information from our simulation. Because the simulation, they already know about the exact pose and position, orientation, and velocity because it is a software system. So you can use this kind of core API calls like get word post or get linear velocity, and those calls below are just for printing them on our terminal consoles. Although this demonstration looks simple, you can learn about it. Now you learn about the core about Isaac Sim. Yeah, you learn a lot about from this video. So this is the start of robotic simulation. And I hope you enjoyed my video. And thank you for watching. See you next time.